it's me Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day so far today. Today's video I'm kind of excited about. It is the Knit Crate January 2019 video. We're going to go over what's inside my Knit Crate. Um, it's the first crate of the new year, so I did something a little different that I've never done before. So, normally how we start these videos is I open my crate and I show you guys the yarn and the pattern book and all that stuff and I talk about it. Um, this month, I'm going to show you the yarn, but I can't, it's not in the box, you guys. It's, the box is empty. So, this is what I've done. I've already put the yarn in cake form. So, I've already got my ball winder out and my yarn swift, and I balled these up. So, this is what it looks like in cake form. This is the yarn color I got, and it is a 100% Peruvian Highland wool. It's 201 yards of a worsted weight yarn. And because it is 100% wool, it's hand wash only and dry flat when you dry it. Um, the colorway is Dawn Blush. It's a very pretty pink color, very different shades of pink, very pretty. Um, and that's the yarn I received this month, already in cake form. Um, now I'm going to show you the pattern book because I did something different. This is, first off, the knit pattern. It's a very nice cowl. And I'm going to make this. I was going to make it for this video, but I'm not going to have enough time. I have so much else going on. Um, so that's why it's already in cake form, because I was going to make it to show on the video. Um, I will tell you, though, if you get this, I almost made a huge boo-boo. Um, when I was going to knit this, I had almost started it, and I didn't read the directions quite clear enough. So if you guys have already received your knit crate, if you've already ordered one, or if you're planning on ordering one for this month, keep in mind, if you're going to knit the cowl, you have to use two strands held together. So you don't just use one ball at a time. You have to use two held together. So we're doubling up on our yarn. So you have to hold them together to knit this cowl. I almost started with just only using one ball and or single stranded. Not correct. <laughs> if you get this and you want to make it, remember you have to use double stranded, so use them together. Um, yes, <laughs> that would have been horrible. I would have been almost done with it and realized, oh darn, I have a whole other skein of yarn, a whole other ball of yarn to go. Um, but yeah, so if you're going to use this or if you plan on ordering this and you want to make that cowl, remember, double stranded. Um, so that was the knit pattern. Now the crochet pattern is this. It is a hand muff and I did actually make this. Now I wanted to save the yarn that came with my knit crate for the cowl. So I got into my own stash, got two uh, balls of worsted weight yarn, Follow the directions, and this is what we have. This is what it looks like before you put it on. It has, like, I think they're calling it the balloon stitch. This is crochet, and it comes with a little, like, um, wristlet that you can, I don't know. I made it. It was in the directions. It was part of the pattern, so I did it and made a cute little pom-pom to go on the end. Now, to wear it, you put it on your hands, like so. And it keeps your hands warm. And I think it is so cute. It is super warm. Um, and if you have a New Year's resolution of maybe not biting your nails or looking at your phone so much, stick your hands in these and you literally, you won't be able to get on your phone as much or bite your nails or if you smoke cigarettes, <laughs> it might prevent you from doing those things. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. It does really keep my hands warm. I do suffer from cold hands in the winter. So just sitting watching TV, I'll snuggle up with this and keep warm. So I really do enjoy this. I've never made one. I've never had a hand muff before. So this was super cute and it didn't take me but maybe a day to make. Because it's crochet, it goes pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, that's the muff. That's the crochet pattern right here. For this, um, I used the Red Heart Tweed, I think. I think that's what it was. It was just Red Heart Super Saver yarn and it's super warm. It's soft and squishy. I really enjoy it. So, if you want to order the Knit Crate membership, those are the patterns you'll get. Um, there'll be a link in the description below this video if you want to check out their website, see what other color yarns they offer. Um, I do have a coupon code, Nervous20. Use that at checkout. You'll 
get 20% off your first month. And they have other crates to choose from. They have artisan crates, sock artisan crates, sock crates. But I will tell you that if you order a sock crate, just the plain sock crate, you'll still get this pattern book. So if you're interested in either one of those patterns that I showed you, you'll still get this pattern book if you order the Knit Crate membership or the sock crate. Um, now if you order an artisan crate, either um, the Knit Crate artisan crate or the sock artisan crate, you'll get a completely different pattern book and I'm not sure what patterns are in those. Um, so yeah, that was my video for the Knit Crate. Like I said, you guys, already in cake form, I'm definitely going to make that cow. Um, but do remember, if you've already received this crate or if you plan on ordering it and you want to do that cow pattern, you have to double strand the yarn. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you guys enjoyed me actually making one of the patterns in the Knit Crate pattern book. Um, so you guys can actually see like a real life thing of it. This was super cute, super fun to make, and it keeps my hands warm and snuggly on the couch when I'm binge watching Netflix or some other show. Um, but yeah, that was it. Again, if you're interested in Knit Crate, there'll be a link in the description below. Use code NERVOUS20 on checkout and you'll save 20% off your first month. And I think that's all I wanted to say. As always, you guys, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. There's tons of links in the description below. Instagram, Facebook, I have a private Facebook page um, where you can join, ask questions, share your guys' projects, whatever. Check those links out below if you would like to. And that's going to be it for today. So that was my Knit Crate January 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So until next time, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day. Happy knitting, happy crocheting, you guys. Bye.